I'm uh, Don Harvey, the former Bishop of Eastern Newfoundland and Labrador in Canada, and uh, I'm now the moderator of the Anglican Network in Canada, and one of the lead bishops of the Anglican Church in North America. So wearing all of these hats, I come to talk about uh, some of the challenges we're facing at the present time. Now, it all started in Canada long before the United States, didn't it? But people often confuse or syncretize. Yes, but people often think America, <laughs> North America, is all America. And that's not quite the case. Uh, New Westminster, uh, Bishop Michael Ingham, uh, started um, uh, in, in uh, oh, seven years ago uh, with uh, approving same-sex blessings and carrying out same-sex blessings. There was a rally in, in Vancouver to express our concern for that, and that uh, was just prior to the famous meeting in Plano in Texas, uh, which uh, launched the uh, United States uh, involvement in this as well. Uh, obviously, before this time, uh, there were pockets of, of involvement anyway, but it started as national movements all around that time. How do you see this panning out in the long term? Uh, at the moment, almost all of our bodies in, in North America, not just Canada, come under uh, primates from various places in the world. In Canada, uh, we come under Gregory Venables in the Southern Cone. Um, he has made it quite clear to us, as I think most of the primates, if not all, have made to their constituents, that uh, in fact what they are doing is temporary, it's emergency, and it's pastoral. And they especially stress the temporary aspect of it. It is our hope that this new proposed North American province will take these dozen different primates off the hook, as it were, uh, that they won't have this overseas jurisdiction and that we will become responsible for our, our own activities and still be linked into the communion. That's the important part with us. Have you had any signals that the province is likely to be given some kind of recognition? Well, uh, after the communique that came out last week from Alexandria, uh, there was some, some concern that uh, 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 things were, were going backwards instead of forwards. Uh, uh, but we realized that at that Primus meeting, uh, th there was no application made to, to start a new province, nor was uh, permission expected at that particular time. It, it's a very involved process because as far as we can see, there's no template on how to do it. There's plenty of, of, of experience as to how to form a, 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 a province because of geography or demographics, but to, to form one on the basis of theology, on the basis of different theology than in that geographic area is completely new. And what if you don't get the province? Is that a schism? Well, uh, we have defined fairly straightforwardly what schism is. Uh, Dr. Packer, who's under our jurisdiction, J.I. Packer, has written a marvelous paper on that and uh, uh, if, in fact, we are in touch, part of the worldwide communion, we can't be schismatic. In fact, those who are not would be. Uh, I know it always comes down to the old question, you know, it, it, are those who go the Orthodox or those who stay, who really moved and who stayed? But the, 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 the province itself uh, may have to be built on the basis of uh, individual primates giving their support to what we're doing. And it won't happen overnight. And what a lot of people in England are, are asking is why can't you all just rub along together and mm. let God be the judge? Well, uh, I heard some of this this morning in, in the debate uh, in the main synod here. Uh, the thing is that there are some things you can live with in diversity, but there are other essential things that you cannot tolerate if you're going to be faithful uh, to the scripture, to the supremacy of Jesus Christ, and, and, and to the uh, teaching that, that, that that's quite emphatic. Why yes. this issue of homosexuality and not previous issues? Well, this is the problem. It's not, it is not just this issue of homosexuality. The issue of homosexuality is the tip of a, of a, of a very big iceberg. And the other part of the iceberg is built on, 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 on two things and is very prevalent in North America. One is to challenge the supremacy of Holy Scripture, and the second, of course, is, is the uniqueness of Jesus Christ. If we could settle on those two, the homosexuality thing would take care of itself because Scripture is very emphatic about it. Now, some of the other things you're mentioning, uh, you can take extracts from Scripture to, 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 to prove your, 
point. You can pay, play uh, textual ping pong, as it were. Uh, but in, in, in the homosexual aspect, it, 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 I'm not aware of, of anything in the Old or New Testament which can be even uh, misconstrued to, 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 to support it. Now, do you think our Archbishop Rowan Williams is going to be successful in the long term in managing to maintain unity? One hopes and prays. We pray every day that, that he will be successful because he's, <coughs> he's also our Archbishop and uh, we respect the position and we are very aware of, of, of the very difficult path he has to follow there. And certainly, um, I, I, I think he's been very careful as to any public statements as to what's happening about this new province, but he, uh, I understand, has been interested in knowing what we, are, what we propose to do and how we propose to do it. Thank you very much. You are very welcome.